we're talking about CSS selectors a little bit, and we saw multiple selectors in the last one. And now we're going to see uh, something that selects everything. So let's say I had this page, UL, with some LIs, and the content Content is that, and we want a hundred of them. Dang! Whoa! But why didn't I get my closing UL? Oh, because my uh, bracket was the wrong way. Okay, look at that, right? Here's the Emmet for it. I'll duplicate it, and my comments aren't working so well for HTML. HTML comment. So that's the Emmet. UL with a descendant, a child of LI, with content of color me also dog, and then dollar signs, which turns into sequential numbers, times 100. The 100 is multiplied by that. Okay? If I wanted it multiplied by this, I do parens times 100, all that. I think that would do it. Let's find out. Right? UL, LI, 100 times. Okay? And so now, let's say I want to color all that stuff. Here's my CSS. And we're going to reveal in Finder. All right, I need all this to be colored. Well, I could go and do this. Let's see what happens. Cool, that did it. But I could also do this. Star. So that also did it. Like if I just had H1, now it's this. But if I make that star, now it's that. Star selects everything. Don't ever use it. It's not performant, and it's bad coding practice. But you should know about it so if you see it. Okay? Let's see what my comments look like here. Don't use star in production. Bad code. Bad code. It's bad code.